Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Anubis in the 3v3 game mode. Now we will be discussing builds, roles of Anubis, the different combos that he can do, what team comps work well with him, as well as a little cheesy titan kill method that you can fully utilize to your advantage if you want to be evil. So let's hop right into builds. Now since Anubis is a really high burst damage mage, you want to build him fairly offensive. Personally, I go right into Bancroft's Talon early game and get two magic potions right at the start of the game. This allowing me to get the most magical power possible. I then try and rush Raja Tahuti. Now, if I can't afford it all at once, I'll go ahead and get rank two Raja Tahuti and boots for the little extra movement speed and then some potions to go with it. As soon as you have enough gold, you want to go ahead and back and finish off Raja Tahuti. The reason you want to finish this as soon as possible is because it gives you a 25 magical power increase making it so that your ultimate ability, if you stun somebody, can almost completely kill somebody early game. After that, you want to also finish off your shoes getting Boots of the Magi and starting Spear of the Magus for all the pen that you can need, chunking down people even more. The item you want to build after Spear of the Magus is Chronos Pendant. This can also be supplemented for Breastplate of Valor. It, they both give you a 25% cooldown reduction, allowing you to stun more often and use your ultimate ability much more often. And finally, you want to get Gem of Isolation. Gem of Isolation will slow down your enemies, forcing them to take more damage in your grasping hands. Now, in terms of actives, personally, I love Blink. This is totally up to you, though. Actives are very situational. But I love Blink Anubis. It helps with his lack of mobility as well as catching people off guard. You're also going to want probably Beads or Aegis to help get you out of sticky situations. Let's talk a little bit about the role that Anubis will play in these 3v3 game modes. First, and foremost, he is a mage, so he's going to be the main person that's going to be doing lane clear. You're also going to want to rotate onto like red buff. This, by the way, is the main buff that you want as Anubis later on in the game. Early game, blue buff is just fine, but that extra damage that you get from the red buff is going to really fully utilize your grasping hands and your ultimate ability. Now, with all this damage comes the other point of having a mage on your team. The ability to completely melt somebody's face off as you can blink in and just like completely kill them like so it will allow your team to have a little bit more slack on their end and you can almost take somebody out of a match completely especially with anubis because he has such good burst potential that if you get them in a wrap three ultimate combo they're almost completely dead if they don't have beads aegis or a way of protecting themselves however this comes with a cost you're really squishy and you have a very low mobility so be cautious of that because you can end up dying really easily and you can start snowballing in a bad way another role that you'll be finding that you need to do as anubis in 3v3 game mode is supporting you have a stun utilize it not only to get kills but to save yourself and allied members so to maximize damage on anubis you first want to pay attention to his third ability grasping hands leveling that first then it'll go his second ability, Mummify, and leveling his ultimate ability as often as you can. Now with Anubis, it's all about the combos. You want to mainly lead off with your stun, followed by your grasping hands into your ultimate. That will almost guarantee any death at all. It does so much damage that it's actually hard to react to it at times. As you see, this Arachne goes down in about less than a second. It's truly an incredible amount of damage especially if, if you have a lot of penetration with it you can also stun with your two drop your grasping hands and then you locust swarm on top of it it does a lot of damage but not nearly as much as your ultimate ability now just like any other game mode in smite team comp is a huge factor into it now team comps that work really well with anubis are stuff that will help him land his stun and stack up onto it for example, a Ymir stun into an Anubis stun. However, they are now diminishing return effects on stuns. So having like a character like a Neath or a Scylla with a root will go even further than another stun. So Anubis is an incredibly powerful god. And if you use him to his full potential, he can do a lot of damage. Just like so. This is the cheesy Titan kill in 3v3. You go in, you drop your grasping hands, and then you ultimate ability. If he's not dead, which he usually is, go ahead and Locust Swarm for the kill. It's really cheesy. It's the cheesiest of cheese. People hate it. I love doing it, even though I know it's horrible. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy that little trick right there. So let's recap on Anubis. Build him offensively. He does a lot of burst damage. Utilize that to your advantage. Secondly, 
know your role in 3v3. Clear lane, know when to use your stun to kill an enemy and when to use it to save an allied. Also, you want to use team comps to your advantage. Build your team comp that will help you land your stuns and do as much damage as possible. And last of all, enjoy the god, melt some faces. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe.